we go. There's the desktop. Okay. Sound there should be go. back on. All right. right. Okay. Ah, man. That's what I get for covering important news, man. They come for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we started talking about China, and China shut us down. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot. Everyone stand fast. We can't let Alaska fail. <laughs> or fall. Yeah, I can't let Alaska fall. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, all right. So there was a series of other words that were banned as well. Oh, God, that pixel. <laughs> uh, all right. The other words that were banned. So this is, you know, N to the nth degree is the reason that they banned the N word. But the other words that were banned. Okay, why? I don't understand that. Because there is. They're a... just like, we don't want anybody to be able to do like, because here's the thing. N to the nth degree is used in financial equations. Right. Right? Like, it's it's used in, like, engineering, astronomy. Like, it's so fucking useful. The, but the opposition party was referring to the nth uh, term, right? So allowing people to serve oh. to the nth term, right? Which became a mm -hmm. hot-button topic, a, a word that was then... Uh, a you know quickly something that they wanted to to silence um got it yeah so twitter or uh, the china's uh some terms that were blocked on china's Wei weibo which is their version of twitter uh 10,000 years the phrase 10,000 years is uh which is china's way of saying long live or viva uh the word disagree has been banned what the fuck yeah uh, Zi Zedong, which is essentially a hybrid of the names of Zi, uh, the, the, the chair of Zi and Chairman Mao Zedong, right? Mm, what up, Distended? Oh, how's it going? Uh, What's name, up, Curry? Shameless, Sorry. right? It, the word shameless has been banned. Lifelong. Mm. Personality cult. Emigrate. And the word immortality. Immortality, wow. And then finally, the name Orwan Shakai, a Qing Dynasty warlord who unsuccessfully tried to restore monarchy China. What up, Phoenix Knight? Phoenix Knight. Shout out to you, buddy. <laughs> so, that's, so this is weird as fuck. So, like, it's not that people can't say it. It just won't appear on the internet, right? So, like, if they're reading an article, that those words and letters are blocked. Right. So fucking weird. Yep. They just don't show up. Uh, and the letter N was a temporary victim of a rash decision. They figured it out while they were hysterically. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Gamer News Party, thank you very much for the subscription. Pay it forward. Welcome to the Illuminati. <laughs> to Mooney Chan. <laughs> so happy you came to join us. Let's take over the world. It was uh, there was a gift from Gamer News Party to Mooning Chan, so thank you very much. Uh, all right. Uh, here we go. Uh, here's our next story. Uh, so sometimes arguments are an everyday occurrence for all of us. Rarely, arguments can sometimes lead to a tragedy. Our next story is about an argument that recently became deadly. Was it an argument about pineapple on pizza? Was it an argue about Black Panther reviews? Was it an argument about Senate elections? Was it an argument about drinking from the carton? Drinking milk from the carton? Was it uh, an argument about having the toilet seat down? Or is it an argument about who is least gay? Who is least gay? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, Black Panther. I yeah, agree we've with got We've got one with Black it. Panther reviews. That's two, yeah. right? I'm going to guess back Black Panther reviews, too. Okay, Shana says Black Panther reviews. Gamer News so Party. Hot right now. Yeah. All right, we've got a lot of Black Panther reviews coming in here. But it turns out that the WhatsApp uh, uh, application uh, argument recently led to a, a murder over who was least gay. Holy shit, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's fucking amazing. A student is now facing life in prison for uh, murdering a man over an argument on the WhatsApp 
application uh, about who was least gay. Uh, Paul Akinoyi, uh, 20, from Tunbridge Wells in Kent, stabbed to death Jordan Wright, 19, after the pair traded insults about being gay in a group called Ice City Boys. <laughs> wow. The defendant called Wright a batty boy, and he retorted, On your mum's life, I'm straighter than you. Uh, the argument <laughs> escalated and led to the pair agreeing to fight in Shooter's Hill in southeast London. Uh, the one was armed with a small knife, uh, but the victim, who was due to start a construction apprenticeship days later, regarded it as a fist fight ting, uh, the court was told. And uh, on the evening of 19th of April last year, the defendant traveled from Tunbridge Wells and met up with a group of men, including Wright in Black Hearth. Anyway, they uh, they killed each other because one said that he was... They kept yelling about how gay they were. So Wait, they both died? No, one killed the other. Jesus. But, they, so both, but they both argued about who was gay. So. When I was, like, younger... You know what I mean? Like, that was something that we used to say to each other. That was before, like, people got sensitive about it, right? Right. And, like, now I don't really say it that much. But, like, we, we'd be like, you know how I know you're gay? You know, like, because that shit was kind of, that was funny back right. then. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, that was a joke. <laughs> and it was, you know, you know what you, I mean? It was hilarious. You, Gamer News Party says plot twist, they are both gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Shana, or Shana, what is the dumbest argument you've ever taken to? That I've ever what? Taken too far. The dumbest argument I've ever taken too far. That's a good question. Oh, God, yep. there's so many. <laughs> right? I, I kind of like, like arguing. I get caught up in dumb arguments all the time. Right. Um, <laughs> the most, that's hard to... I mean, I guess there's been a few. It's like, are, I guess classified as like you come out feeling <laughs> a little dumber than before. Right. <laughs> Christy just called me the fuck out. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, oh, shit. I have to tell that story. I, uh... Oh, I think I heard a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give it to us, Jason. So... What's, what's up with the color orange and you taking oh, it too far? Okay. So we're. It's my roommate, my uh, Twisty, and I. Uh, my roommate is not Twisty. My roommate is Fawn. Twisty's my girlfriend. And we're sitting there. We're talking about hanging art behind our couch in the living room and, like, kind of, like, maybe get, taking my paintings down. And uh, I'm like, you know what would be cool? would really tie this room together is something with a little bit of orange. And anyway, <laughs> we'd been drinking whiskey. And both Twisty and Fawn were like, I don't know if orange is really going to tie this room together. <laughs> like, orange is kind of a shitty color to put on the wall. And I was just, like, not letting it go. I was like, no, you guys don't fucking understand. <laughs> it's just so dumb. And it was, like, an hour and a half, and finally they were like, okay, we're fucking done with this conversation. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, you guys are right, actually. Orange would look like shit. <laughs> oh, wow, <I> fucking... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gamer News Party says that his girlfriend was mad at him for a week because he killed a dragon in Magic the Dragon because she loves dragons. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's kind of <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> the Moody Chan says, I remember when I was younger and I was being bullied a lot, so I brought a giant stick just to get out of a kid when I was six. He was about three oh, years yeah. older than me. That was the last time he called me a poopy. I suppose. Awesome. <laughs> if somebody three years younger than you get just whip shit out of you with a stick, you're probably going to think right. twice about calling that kid a poopy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you were diving, what is the le what is what would you least like to find at the bottom of the lake? We'll start with Jason this time. Um. I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to say what I would say right now because it's hilarious. All right, Shana. Uh, what would you like to not okay. find at the bottom of a lake? Thomas says two sharks. So many things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, then. The giant spiders was the first thing. <laughs> giant spiders at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Samuni Chan says a sign that says you just wasted 10 seconds driving or diving down here. <laughs> Radioactive waste. How about this, guys? Here's a video coming. <laughs> I love that he did the sound with it. Yep. <laughs> This is a real video from the real bottom of the real lake or Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, <laughs> it seems that someone, so put, uh, some random person, recreated the scene from the end of Friday the Thirteenth Part Six, yep. uh, where Jason and Tommy managed to trap, or uh, where Megan and Tommy managed to trap Jason at the bottom of Crystal Lake, uh, in the real Crystal Lake, complete with a mask and machete, a hundred and twenty feet deep. Wow. It was 120 feet down, you all of a sudden find Jason. <laughs> so amazing. I would, I would wow. I'd, I'd crap, right? My pants would just be crapped. <laughs> I've watched, I don't believe in most, pretty much any of it, but I've watched too right. many supernatural things. <laughs> right, but I mean, like, yeah. when you're doing something like diving, all of your senses are super alert and you're super active and you're looking for anything so you don't run into something. And then right. you're all like, oh shit, Jason, I've, I've crapped me wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, so that's why I called this Camp Crystal Nope. But <laughs> uh, Zod says, don't bring it back up. Yeah, you definitely got to leave that down there. And X Flight says, you're high on oxygen. Yeah, exactly. You're all fucking tanked up. Good to go. <laughs> What up, X Flight? All right. Uh, <laughs> your wetsuit becomes a solid suit. God damn it. <laughs> oh, gross. All right. Uh, double trouble. Uh, a Portland, Maine man was char arrested and charged after Cumberland County Sheriff's deputy said he stole a U Haul pickup truck and led them on a chase in early October of last year. Uh, a deputy on patrol uh, w tried to pull him over when he began uh, operating the vehicle erratically. He sped up, and the chase ended when the suspect crashed. The truck sustained minor damage. In related news, last week, deputies say that a Portland, Maine man was charged with, <laughs> with uh, charged and arrested after a Cumberland County Sheriff de a deputy said he stole a U-Haul pickup truck and led them on a chase on Sunday. A deputy was on patrol and he uh, noticed that the vehicle was uh, traveling over the speed limit. And as soon as he tried to pull him over, the vehicle began to uh, operate erratically. He sped up and the a chase ended when the suspect crashed and the truck sustained minor damage. This guy committed the exact same crime three months apart from each other. And That's it was so fucking ridiculous. stealing a U-Haul, speeding, evading police, <laughs> and then crashing the U-Haul truck. <laughs> Weird. Right? <laughs> How do you not learn the first time? <laughs> exactly. Uh, the first time he was charged with uh, uh, theft of a motor vehicle, criminal speed, driving to endanger and failing to stop for a police officer along with minor traffic violations. The next time he was tra charged with theft of a motor vehicle, criminal speeding, driving to endanger, failing to stop for a police officer, operating after a suspension, proba uh, probation hold, and other traffic violations. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Uh, At some point, you just gotta be like, I'm not a good criminal. Right. <laughs> Zod is asking, uh, what is the plan with the U-Haul? That's what I'm thinking, dude. He's got something. He's like, I gotta get I this know. completed. <laughs> right? His master plan dude, he's somehow. he's making a fucking U-Haul meth lab. The guy doesn't look super smart. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. something, something to do with meth. <laughs> right? He's all it's like, usually the first time it didn't work because I got caught. But the U-Haul is still the best place for this meth lab. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, all right. So an update story. So if you guys remember, last week on Thursday, we covered the Rods of Iron story. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought... I missed this, but... Okay. Uh, so to, to catch you up real quick, uh, there is, last week this was before it was going to happen, right? Now it is after it's happened. But there was going to be, fresh off of the Florida shooting, a church that was going to have a bunch of people come with high-powered, uh, like, you know, AR-15s and rifles and stuff like that. And then they were all going to uh, do a reaffirmation ceremony and, uh, like, show the power that God made guns to be the rod of iron for them. And I was all like, this seems like a Waco wow. cult, right, in the making. Jason revealed to us that it's very possible that they may be attempting to make a, uh, assault rifles a religious symbol, which is a brilliant idea, right? Like, it's that that is a excellent circumvi uh, uh, circumvision uh, way to get around uh, the possibility of an AR ban, right? Because that's a religious yeah. symbol now, right? Uh, so this, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing totally happened. And I think I may have been right also. <laughs> yeah. So this could still possibly be Absolutely. just a thing to try and get uh try and get ARs as a religious symbol, but also this was creepy, dude. And yeah. the pictures that I chose, this was just some random thing where some people put together a joke for shotgun wedding and it's clever and funny and I think it's a whatever anybody wants to do on their wedding, that's fine. Uh the pictures that I have that I'm gonna be showing you are real weird. <laughs> so, more than 300 couples descended on Newfoundland, Pennsylvania, for Wednesday's controversial ceremony to marry or renew their vows and pay homage to AR-15s, which they believe are God's sacred rod of irons on Earth. That's fucking strange. Yeah. Take a look at this culty-looking stuff, dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen shit. This yeah. isn't even this isn't even the worst at all. The next one, I'm all like, all right, that's where I. This is where, like, at this point, I'm like, okay, whatever. It's some people who like guns, and and it's like a you know a marriage for a gun club, right? Um, there was right. sta standing room only in the large church, and followers clapped and cheered as their leader, Pastor Hyung Jin Sin Moon. Uh, the best part about, I mean, like, so these ones are totally good. They've got a female pastor head, right? Uh, holding up a, uh, or sorry, uh, they then told the congregation they had the God-given right to keep and bear arms and to protect themselves from Satanist systems of communism and socialism, right? So it got a little bit more extreme than what they were advertising. Yeah. <laughs> What's with their They're tiara? Like, it's a peace right? gathering. <laughs> that's that's for her to get married in. She gets married in a tiara, duh. Even if you got an AR-15, you got to be a princess on your big day. You sh wait till you see the bullet crown. <laughs> Here it is, dude. Right. Bullet yeah, crown. There it is. <laughs> so ridiculous. It's amazing. <laughs> These people are fucking weird. <laughs> that yeah, the the bullet crowns are just insane. And then here's the congregation. Yeah. They're all wearing crowns, carrying guns, wearing pink. Seems a little off yeah. to me, right? This is super strange. <laughs> Here is the head pastor with, yes, oh, a golden yeah. gun. Yeah, the fucking... Yeah. I mean, I'll have so to say good. it. I mean, that's a sick-ass <laughs> fucking stupid. rifle, dude. Right, I know. The, I mean, the rifle looks beautiful. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say... rifle's so dope. That, that rifle looks like a skin from like CSGO, yeah. right? <laughs> oh yeah, it does. That's exactly what that I That looks like something you're going to pay 500 bucks on the Steam store for, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to have your gun look like that, yeah. Uh, Cameron News Party, Gucci gun, Gucci gun, Gucci gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, we have another sound. We have another uh, sound twisty. we got to make. <laughs> yeah. Gucci gun, Gucci gun. It's a moody chain with all the fucking artwork. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and I would, I would watch the shit out of this show if it was on HBO. About a bunch Leftover of people. Leftover style with these crazy people. Oh my <laughs> god, that'd be awesome. Uh, here's Grandma and her AR-15. She made it to level 50, so she gets to have a gun or a gold one. Yep. That's funny. <laughs> Why? What is nice. up with the crowns? 
that that and, it's um, a these guys are Colton, dude. Like, like, yeah. And this isn't even look. These guys look like they got Burger I've King crowns, heard, dude. I've, I mean, <laughs> I've never heard of going to church with your guns, but that's clearly part of the their shtick. But where the fuck do the crowns come into this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so it's it's part of the scripture, Is right? It? Because it's like, yeah, because it has to do with like the king and the. Right, the the story. It's I forgot what, the rod of uh, iron. What, yeah, it's the rod of iron story. Mm-hmm. I don't really remember it too well, but I remember how to do the king, and I think it's like the king of heaven protecting you with, you know what I mean, with the the rod of iron. Right. I could be wrong though. I haven't read the Bible in yeah, like, like ten years. So. Heaven, and that's complete, could extraordinary blasphemous that they would have a. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that, but no shit. Yeah, it's a curry sauce, Especially everybody, but Grandpa's little gold. piece right here, dude. I don't see any safeties on Grandpa's yeah. piece. <laughs> well, if this isn't golden calf, like I don't know what is. Right, right exactly. Wow. <laughs> Look at that yeah. thing, dude. <laughs> the funny That's thing is, is if there tight. is a god. But it's this they're is all the, going to hell. <laughs> this is the this is the Naruto headband of his group. Everybody's yeah, yeah. all like, "God damn it, Steve, get a crown." Right. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, so yeah, uh there are over something like uh twenty six other states that have churches that are now planning to do this. For sure. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you were yeah. in the same stuff I was. Yeah. I yeah, think so. Yeah, yeah no, a huge tight. amount of groups that are getting ready to 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 try and, you know, do the same thing. So I'm like wanting to try this. You gonna go bring an AR-15? I don't know. Like I'm thinking about it, right? Yeah. Like they won't. Well, obviously they allow cameras. Right. Oh, dude, we should go as Skeptoc. Yeah, dude. Dude, I've got an AR-15. We could blend right in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I'll sit that one out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. think I could hold my composure and like I would I don't think I could do it. Uno, which one of us is wearing the wedding dress? <laughs> it would be like the bomb in the room that would like, just be exploding with all of the ways to piss all those people off. Yeah, dude, we should go there and try to get no. game. Hearing. I was just gonna say, dude, are they gonna be all butthurt if we we come? We're all like, yeah, dude, AR 15s we love you know defending our rights, everything like this. We want to get gay married at your service. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gamer News Party says, That's I've got hilarious. a faux scar. Let's go. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> uh, all right. Show up with a bunch of uh, fucking airsoft guns. No. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the story. <laughs> so, strep throat has been going around. And I can't yeah. tell you how many times I've seen people on Facebook that are like, should I go? I think I might have strep. Should I go into urgent care? Or I have strep. Should I go? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why? If you think you have it, yes. And then I'm seeing like the litany of com- of comments that are all these homeopathic recipes that are like, no, if you have strep throat, you're going to infect a bunch of people before you right. get better or it'll kill you. All you got to do you. is just go capture three honeybees, put them in a jar, and then gargle them. And you'll be good. <laughs> right? And send us a video, please. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay, so, a couple of years ago, I was at this, uh, this hippie festival that happens here locally. Yep. And uh, I, I was, uh, Twisty and I were talking to this lady. And she's like, oh, man, I got, I forgot what happened. She's like, I got stung by a bee or something like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, just rub some honey on your thighs. And she's like, what, really? I was like, no, not really at all. Jesus Christ. And right. Like, walked away. Like, <laughs> Twisty just it. said, my chakras are lining up as we speak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this lady's got everybody who you've ever seen do uh, homeopathic stuff one-upped. So an Australian woman contaminated an entire sewage treatment plant with high levels of mercury after traveling to India and bringing back a cream billed as a healing ointment that was loaded with toxic heavy metals on Wednesday. So... Wait. 
This lady went to India because she had... What up, squabs? Squab, what up? So, uh, this lady, what was her problem? I can't remember. She has... Uh, she was ill with something. We'll find it out in a minute. Uh, so, routine monitoring at a sewage treatment plant in Upper Austria, or Austria uh, revealed an alarming... A uh, high level of mercury earlier this year. Workers then started to trace the source of the mercury. Uh, it was enough that they had to trace it down, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, which was almost double the allowed limit from people, right? Dragon right. Daughter, thank you much for the bit. <laughs> <laughs> the I was trying to just do the little thing. Oh, we, we, put it, we, put, we put it to 10 so that uh, uh, people couldn't spam it with one anymore. <laughs> But yeah, now I'm not you dancing the... for anything no, less no, than a I was dime. I trying to just make the little picture. I wasn't. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Clearly, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the Department of Water Management first inspected sewer lines from the industrial and commercial enterprises, found nothing, and were led to believe that it was a private residence. Uh, they eventually uh, they were tipped off by tea lights and a shrine using a portable mercury. Uh, uh, detector they eventually traced to the contamination back to a private residence 17 kilometers that's 10.5 miles away the person living in the apartment told workers she had recently visited a wellness center in india where she was given a curative cream to bring home it turns out that that cream and a powder that she was given contained 32 percent sulfur 27 percent mercury the powder was 36 percent mercury oh, and 20% copper, and 3.8% sulfur. Uh, so basically, it was a vaccine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Gosh dang. laughs> uh, it's reported that the 50-year-old woman was suffering from cancer, but she brought back 10, uh, 22 pounds of the remedies from the monastery. Uh, the paper reported she was now also suffering from serious mercury poisoning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she was rubbing a cream that was over a quarter mercury into her skin. That's terrifying. That That's so scary. bad for you. Where'd she get this? It's a place, like, locally? It, no, in India, at a wellness temple. She brought it here from India. To, to Australia, yeah. Australia. Oh yeah. yeah, Australia. Fucking oh yeah, no worries. Understood. <laughs> they love pseudoscience over there. Zod says they cure you with death. Can't have cancer if you're dead. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, right. Tamuni Chan, don't get that cream. Right, exactly. Uh Mercury is an extremely toxic metal that can cause damage to the brain, kidneys, and lungs. Hey, bro. And it can be uh, absorbed through the skin, through vapor, or ingestion. Workers destroyed the toxic remedies and helped decontaminate <laughs> the apartment over the course of a week. The woman is now going under uh, extensive medical treatment. Uh, the sewer system between her apartment and the treatment plant also have to be decontaminated. Uh, presence of mercury in waste treatment plant is particularly concerning if the waste is processed into fertilizer for crops. Because then, you give mercury to everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I like Gamer's, uh, Gamer's quote there. Uh, if she had cancer, she should have just tried going vegan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then she could have died I'm on YouTube also. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is reported that uh, all in all, after everything that they had to do, the uh, incident cost about $122,000. Because she brought home nonsense. Think about that the next time you go homeopathic, everyone. <laughs> right? Uh. Oh, shit. Twisty, thank you very much for those 100 bits. I hope you enjoyed the dance. My favorite part. <laughs> what is this? Only Udo and I dance for dollars? Come on. <laughs> Something's wrong with my sound. Oh. No, no. Try to see. I don't you know. want into the cult? <laughs> Yay. We couldn't see you do it, but that's awesome. Ooh, you have a silver bits leader. You're bit leader too, Twisty. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, all right. 
So when I say the phrase hitman, what comes, what kind of person comes to mind? Like physical description of that guy. Literally the picture. Okay. How, how about what? you, Shayna? Because I play a lot of <laughs> video games. When I think of a, yeah, I think of, of uh, a hooded guy. I think of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> right, right. You know, nice. you some sort of gruff, tough, no nonsense killer. Yep. What about this guy? <laughs> yep, definitely that guy. Exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Uh, Shane, does this look like a, a, a professional hitman to you? No. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why he's so good at it. Yeah, this guy's super good at it. So a Colorado man is accused of killing 19-year-old Natalie Mary Bollinger. Uh, and he told police that at, he shot her after he replied to her Craigslist ad seeking a hitman. Or herself. Uh, investigators said in court documents obtained on Monday before the killing, the man, Joseph Michael Lopez, 22 years old, tried to talk her out of suicide. And he told a Adams C County deputies, according to the arrest affidavit obtained by NBC News, um, after he failed to change her mind, they went for a drive, stopped by the side of the road, where he put a bullet through her head. <laughs> wow. So this is all. This guy looks like he would have a fucking three-hour-long argument with you <laughs> at GameStop about how Spider-Man couldn't sling in that much web unless he ate a whole turkey every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. That uh. <laughs> and he looked like that guy. How much CPU should the Discord be using? Twelve. Twelve CPU. Yeah. <laughs> Like percentage wise, um, it depends on what CPU you have. You know what I mean? And how much? Yeah, like, I don't know if I've seen this before, but my my CPU percentage is going from six seventy to ninety. I think that's what's wrong. Oh, you probably have an update. Windows is updating you right now. Well, Discord is sitting at forty four percent for me right now because I'm sending so much data and collecting I've shit. Got 50, so yeah, fifty six. Yeah, it's not too bad. About normal, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Squad, but you're not sending video, as far as I know, right? Oh, snap. It went blank. OBS, why? Hold on. I'm at 10% for Discord. Hmm. What happened there? I do have AMD, though. It's pretty good at multitasking. So do I. Yes. 90. Uh, hold. Mm. Why is this dude? We lost your voice. My you voice? Can't hear me? Oh, okay. We have it. We have it. Yeah. It sounded like you were talking, Shayna, and got cut off. Oh, yeah. You guys don't have to like pause on my behalf. I just might have to duck out in a minute. I'll... <laughs> yeah, you might need to reset. I bet it's a Windows update. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. All right, They've been we'll updating go. a lot lately because there's more uh, problems found with their uh, updates. All right, we're going to gonna have that up here for two people here in a second. Take a, take a quick talk here with the, with the crowd. Uh, I don't have the two cams set right. up per, uh, perfectly yet. So there's a green screen behind Jason right now. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, I was what? having... Weird Where'd stuff. This come from? Right. Having weird stuff go on with uh, the other screen. I'm not getting it showing on the main show anymore. Back to that slide we were at. Current slide. And it's not working. That is really dumb. Display capture no. properties. Uh, that display. What you should be doing? Just blank. Make any sense? Hmm. What? This is a very dumb issue. <laughs> uh, it's got to be OBS Studio. Uh, this is not something I can easily fix. Uh, song Run. requests is shut off on yours. I don't have song requests, man. I've never. I had, know. I've never. I can't get requests. it off on my channel. 
that came out weird. <laughs> Have you heard the song Shut the Fuck Up? Uh, by... I don't remember. Some dude dressed in a penis costume. He's fucking... It's hilarious. I have not. Sorry. That was off. <laughs> that seems ridiculous. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous, dude. And the uh, whole time he's, like, in a public garden, like, filming this music video, running around, doing weird shit. It's so funny. Drake? Yeah, it's Drake. That right there. Yeah! Timothy Chan knows what I'm talking about. Capture. And blank. Not seeing anything on this screen. Hmm. This is troubling. Hold on. Give me a second. Pop it to cam again. And I will just swap everything over to the other window. Okay. It's Filthy Frank. That's who it is. Ah. The pen from Penn and Teller does a pretty good uh, shut the fuck up montage. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right, here we go. Let's see if this fixes it once I go to this. That's the only thing on the way. Change to the okay. <laughs> Bam. Of course I noticed you. Did you notice? Oh, to Mooney Chain. Okay. All right. So, uh, technically, I te okay, I technically have it working again. So, cool. Uh, we'll see how it works and see if it keeps going. <laughs> Stupid shit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks. Uh, Things may have to. Things are gonna go wonky. I think uh, Shane is Windows is probably updating right now. That's what's taking us so long. Yeah, more than likely. Uh, so okay, let's uh, you and I move on to the next one. Oh goodness, I am sharing the wrong screen with you. Whoa, that was cool. Changing windows, you're gonna get. This you guys didn't see it, but it was like Jason Inception over here. Pants on pants on pants. All right, there you're getting the, the screen again. <laughs> Sexy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if... I'm never making fun of this guy. Dude, if you ever watch a show, Hitman guy, I didn't mean that as a joke when I said that earlier. I had a really good argument with this guy at GameStop. <laughs> I did. It lasted like three hours. I was like, yeah, but, you know, it's like a superhero. But he wasn't having uh, that shit. Man, okay. So, uh, everything is going completely ass wonky. Um, True that, gamer. Why is it? Whoa, Ain't what no is going pants. On okay, hold on. So uh, I'm going to go, we're going to go on uh, a break for a second to handle these situations because I need to have everything going. So I'll, we'll be right back, guys. It won't be 10 minutes. Uh-oh. I'll entertain the chat by chatting with